a tree. She could see his bare legs. The other looked like Yogi Bear dipped in radioactive waste. Regardless, our top ten moments of mascot abuse is worth watching because anything is worth watching when it features one of the Rougeau brothers. Most of the abuse Marlon's mascot, Billy, has taken over the years has been limited to an unexpected shower. But A.J. Burnett wound up showering him with broken glass after throwing a ball at Billy's truck. Following a hard foul during a Timberwolves Spurs game, it's San Antonio's mascot who draws the ire of the refs, and he is ejected from the game. During an altercation with Denver Nuggets mascot Rocky, Charles Barkley decides to use his foot to drive home his point. He has been stuck for about five minutes now, can't get down. But right now, he's kind of stuck in, uh, well, not no man's land, no shark's land. Well, yeah, he's like a fish out of water. Some mascots are put in the line of danger a bit more than others. The Ducks season opener in 1995 nearly resulted in Wild Wing being burnt to a crisp. Before Ohio State and Ohio University were able to play even one down in their 2010 matchup, Ohio University's mascot, Rufus Bobcat, recorded the first hit of the day attacking state mascot Brutus Buckeye. The Bobcat was later banned from the school's athletic department. The mascot on mascot violence was taken a step further when the Houston Cougars and Oregon Ducks took the field. The Cougars' imitation of Oregon's touchdown celebration sends the Duck into a wet-footed rampage. Oregon suspended the Duck for the following home game. After Atlanta's mascot hit the glass behind the Cincinnati Cyclones bench, Coach Don Jackson decided to respond by hitting the mascot. Putting himself in the bad books of Milwaukee fans by knocking down a contestant in the sausage race, Randall Simon looked to make up for his bad work with a touch of humor by buying sausages for an entire section when he returned with the Cubs. Alouette's mascot, Touche, had no trouble dishing out the punishment during this halftime wrestling match between Kamala and Jacques Rougeau. However, his fellow Owls mascot, Blitz, was on the receiving end of some verbal abuse by then head coach Don Matthews after earning his club a 10-yard penalty for pecking a referee. I'm telling you something right now, Blitz. This is it. Come on, I'm boss, you're nothing. I'm the boss, and you're nothing. Do you understand that? $5,000 fine, pay it up. That's your deal. $5,000. That's the end of the deal. And it's one way to silence your critics. Harvey the Hound came down and was too close for Craig McCavish's liking, and he takes Harvey's tongue and throws it. Harvey did offer his own account of the incident. <laughs> Harvey has a nicely appointed living room. 